Do you guys remember 2017, the Bitcoin boom? Bitcoin, the digital currency created a dozen years ago as an alternative to cash, is exploding in value. During that time, people were buying GPUs left, right and center. Micro Center in US, one of the biggest chain for any PC components, all of their shelves for graphics cards were totally empty. Prices were ridiculously high because crypto miners were grabbing each and every card which they could find. And then finally, in 2019, it all crashed. The GPU prices again came down and everyone thought, okay, the worst is over. Yeah, no, we have a new one. It's RAM. But this new crisis, this isn't crypto and it isn't something that will blow over in a year. Right now, RAM prices have shot up in a way we haven't seen before. A 32GB DDR5 kit was just $120 a year ago. Now it's anything between $280 to $300. Server memory, that is up by 250%. So trying to put together your next crypto rig, a video editing workstation, and even a pal wall server for your friend, everything suddenly cost more. Because RAM, of all the things, have become expensive. Now you're paying premium price for something that used to be the easiest and the cheapest for any build. Part which nobody wants to hear. It's not slowing down anytime soon. Let's cut straight into it. The entire crisis has come down to one thing. HBM, the high bandwidth memory. It is the special ultra-fast memory that AI systems uses. All of the AI companies which have huge data centers like OpenAI, Google, Nvidia, they all uses HBM memory into their servers. And here is the problem. The one stick of normal DDR5 RAM generally costs around $30. And one stick of HBM memory sells 10 times more. So the big three main memory manufacturers, Samsung, Micron, and SK Hynix, they basically just said, why make cheap RAMs for regular consumers when they can build high margin HBN RAM for all the data centers. The production lines in these companies that used to make DDR RAMs for servers and PCs were converted to HBM for AI data centers. Meaning less DDR5, DDR4 production cut early and older systems suddenly doesn't have any memory supply at all. That's why the RAM price didn't just raise, the entire supply chain got collapsed. This isn't just hitting gamers and server builders. Device manufacturers are seeing their cost explode. RAM used to be 15% cost of a laptop or phone, and now it's 30%. So what are the manufacturers doing? They are cutting RAM for their new devices. Phone that should be shipped with 16 GB of RAM and are now launching with 8 GB or 12 GB of it. And just because the demand is insane, the grey market is pretty much booming. Counterfeit RAM, refurbished RAM disguised as new and QC failed chips are being sold online. So who is getting the hardest hit? The companies which are getting affected the most are the server providers and cloud infrastructure companies. Data centers are getting RAM but at ridiculous prices. Server DDR5 pricing is jumping 30 to 50% every quarter and any old data centers that are using DDR4 are basically screwed. Consumers aren't spared either. Perfect $1200 gaming build, now it's almost costing $1500 and most of the price increases are just because of the RAM. So when does this end? Short answer not anytime soon. Even if Samsung or Micron decide today to build a new factory, memory fabs takes three years to complete and they are not building any factories anytime soon. Because tight supply equals to high prices equals to high profit. So unfortunately, era where RAM are cheap, just grab by extra 16 GB, that is gone. Right now we are entering in a world where memory is a premium component like GPUs were during crypto boom. On the enterprise side, yes, technologies like CXL will help big companies to use memory more efficiently. The plans for build or upgrade in the next six to nine months requires immediate RAM purchase. Prices will rise further in Q1 of 2026. DDR4 system owners must buy spare RAM kits immediately because complete stock depletion approaches rapidly. Second-hand market will become predatory. That $80 stick will now cost $500. The bigger question, back in 2017, the GPU shortage was temporary but annoying, but the RAM crisis isn't temporary. Crypto was a trend, but AI is an economic force. Governments are funding it, big corporations are pouring billions of dollars into it, and AI companies have infinite budgets compared to regular consumers and small businesses. Three companies control 95% of the total world's memory market share, and they have made their choice. And this brings us to the most uncomfortable truth. When RAM, the basic building block of computing, becomes a luxury item, who is the future of technology actually being built for? 
gamers, students, small businesses, developers, or AI giants dictating the direction of entire industry. Are we really witnessing our progress here? Or restructuring of tech or regular users gets left behind entirely? I don't know the answer yet. But I do know this, when you are paying $300 for something that used to cost $120 just a year ago, you are not paying for innovation here because you have been pushed to the back of the line.